Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Friday, June 28th, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. Before I begin, I do want to mention that next week I will be taking some R&R, so the daily newsletter and the video cast will be on hiatus until Monday, July 8th. But you can go to our website at www.tvmediainsights.com for ongoing updates courtesy of Douglas Pucci. Now let's begin today with an item from Shark Tank on ABC. It looks like the tank will be getting more crowded next season. ABC will add two additional entrepreneurs to the show. They are Steve Tesh, who is the chairman and executive vice president of the New York Giants, and John Paul DeJoria, who is one of the co-founders of the Paul Mitchell line of hair products, which I am sure you have seen on one of the home shopping networks. Now I don't know if the pair will be on every week or they will be rotating a la Barbara Corcoran and Lori Grenier but we will find out this fall and speaking of Barbara and Lori you know once upon a time the classic TV question was who did you like better on Gilligan's Island was it Marianne or Ginger now the question to ask is who do you like better on Shark Tank Barbara or Lori my pick is Lori who I am actually hoping to sit down with at the upcoming summer press tour in Los Angeles. And speaking of Gilligan's Island, my pick was always Marianne, always. Now let's head over to Ovation. The cable network has picked up the encore telecast of canceled NBC musical dramedy Smash. They will begin on Ovation on Friday, July 19th at 8 o'clock Eastern time. Just when you were wondering... Who would be the next small screen psychic? I have an answer for you. Her name is Tia Bell. She will be featured in a new A&E docuseries called Psychic Tia, which will debut on Saturday, August 3rd, with two episodes in the 10 o'clock hour, and much of the activity will take place in Tia's shop called The Craft. You know, speaking of TV psychics, my all-time favorite is still John Edward, who was the host of Crossing Over with John Edward. It aired for three seasons in first-run syndication, and I truly do wish he would come back to the small screen on a regular basis. Heading over to my favorite cable network, TCM, a.k.a. Turner Classic Movies, it is announced it will air a 15-part documentary series called The Story of Film and Odyssey. It is written, created, and produced by Mark Cousins. It will tell the tale of the evolution of cinema from the beginning to present. It will air beginning on Monday, September 2nd at 10 o'clock Eastern Time and will remain in that time period through Monday, December 9th. Over at Netflix, it has already picked up its upcoming dramedy called Orange is the New Black for a second season with an order for 13 additional episodes before it even debuted. Now, Orange is the New Black tells the tale of a woman living in New York who is living with her fiancé. She gets arrested for possessing and selling drugs. She is sentenced to 15 months in prison, and suddenly she has to deal with this whole new culture. It will begin on the streaming service Netflix on Thursday, July 11th, At 12.01 a.m., Netflix will offer all 13 episodes at one time, the same way it offered all the new episodes of Arrested Development. Personally, I don't like that. I'd rather see it more spread out. And what is frustrating for me is I still don't even know how well or not well Arrested Development did on Netflix. So at some point, I do hope we have data to support this growing digital platform. Ann Curry, remember her from the Today Show? Remember that whole brouhaha? I'm sure you do. You know, she had signed, she had staying with NBC. She was pushed off the Today Show, but was still staying with NBC. Nobody's really seen her. But tonight she is resurfacing on a 10 p.m. special. Coming up on Sunday on Showtime at 10 o'clock is the debut of a drama that I think is going to do very well. It is called Ray Donovan. It stars Lee Schreiber as a professional Los Angeles fixer, and it airs out of the season premiere of the final season of Dexter on Showtime. Finally, two items in TV history on this day in 1951 was the debut of a sitcom called Amos and Andy. It was based on the radio show of the same name, and it is remembered for being abruptly canceled two seasons later because of the protests from a number of people that felt that the characters were too stereotypical. And on this day in 1973, recording artist Helen Reddy, 
hosted her own variety show. It debuted and it was called, guess what? The Helen Reddy Show. Remember those days when there were all those variety shows in the summer? And that is our, da- our daily video cast from TV Media Insights. But before I depart, I do want to bring on a co-host. He's sitting right here. He's been a little camera shy in recent telecasts, but here he is, Buster Berman. He wants to come on and he wants to say hello to everybody. Hello from Buster. As a reminder, I'm going on hiatus until Monday, July 8th. Buster and I want to wish you a very good weekend and we will see you back on July 8th. Take care.